Hey everybody, how you doing? It has been a while from my last video. As some of you might know, I had an injury, a pretty big and severe injury. So that's the reason why I haven't been posting new videos. It has been a pretty big change in my life and lifestyle, but I will explain more of that later in the video. So basically, I wanted to make this video because I really wanted to make a recap of my 2021 and you know go through all my trips and events with you uh, sharing some nice windsurfing action and some behind the scenes and also some uh, lessons i learned and overall just to you know share the stoke uh, and the joy for what it has been and for all the special moments i lived and share some goals with you for my 2022 so my year started pretty well um, in December 2020, I was able to leave Italy, which was in a pretty bad COVID situation, and travel to Chile, one of my favorite places, and where it was in summer season, so way better situation for COVID, and conditions uh, usually are good. So I came to Chile, and uh, as always, I had a really good time here. I gotta say that conditions weren't fantastic because um, January and February aren't really the best months still I was able to sail and especially it was good to give continuity to my trainings after being in Sardinia for the end of 2020 it was good to start 2021 in a consistent place and with high quality waves and powerful waves like Chile Oh, mejor. The best. Between the water. Plenty of waves. Not the best waves, but plenty of waves. Between the water. Do my bro. Good times. <laughs> February was a tough month though, as uh, there was really little wind, and I actually had to do my thesis for university. Um, I just graduated a few months ago, but uh, in, in that time in February, I had to do the thesis, so it wasn't easy uh, to do it from far away. But yeah, I stayed in Chile until half of March. At that point, COVID was getting bad also there, so I had to take a decision if I was gonna um, stay and risk maybe some quarantines or some lockdowns, or I had in mind to go to Maui, Hawaii, where the situation has always been good. It wasn't easy because traveling was really complicated. At the end, I decided to give it a go. Uh, I could buy the flight ticket with miles. So I saved on that and I had friends helping me in Maui and where to stay and how to find a car. So I organized everything last minute and I flew to Maui. The trip was really complicated in between two COVID tests that I needed 
uh, the gear as usual and a really long trip from Chile. It might sound uh, uh, close, but it isn't at all. So whatever, after two days I go to Maui and it was amazing to be back in the Mecca after one year that I couldn't go there because of COVID. So it was amazing to be back in Hawaii. It was so special and so important to be sailing again with all these legends and all the best riders in the world that really motivated me and reminded me how important it is to be in between the best guys if you really want to be some of them, one of them. So um, I really had a great time in Hawaii. I spent there one month and a half, almost two. then I really had to leave unfortunately uh, I didn't want to but I already had planned to go to Sardinia for the month of May in Italy also the situation in Europe with COVID was better so you know I was able to go back and not having to quarantine or any lockdowns were going on so it was a better situation at the beginning of May I flew back to Italy. I spent one month in Sardinia with my family, with my sister and my mom. It was a nice opportunity to spend some time with my family that I don't see that often. And so, you know, it was really nice to spend some time together. And my sister was working remotely. My mom was able to see how beautiful Sardinia is. Unfortunately, we didn't have, I didn't score much wind, actually almost nothing. I was going to Porto Polo and enjoying some free ride sessions. I, I, I started some, I tried some wing foil, but um, again, the people there were super nice. The vibe was really good and the place is absolutely amazing. So I had a great time. of June I went back to Turin and from there I actually left for Fuerteventura in the Canary Islands in Spain which was my main destination for the summer. 